This next video of the C1000 in the MT500D and 600D will show you the settings on how to set hydraulics. So what I'm going to do here, as you can see I got my transmission and power management. And what I want to do is I want to set the hydraulics. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll in. I want to highlight. And then I'm going to go to my hydraulic. Okay. So I'm going to select my hydraulic. Now you can see on the top I have all my hydraulics. So on this tractor I have six hydraulics. You can see my flow rates and then my time kickouts. On the right is very important here. If you want the hydraulic to be unlocked you need to make sure that that shows green unlock. And then if you want the tractor to actually have a detent function where it kicks out you need to make sure that this has an unlock feature also. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that it's going to unlock my detent times. I want to go ahead and make changes to this hydraulic so I'm going to go ahead use my soft key corresponding to my yellow icon press that in. Now you can see I got my valve 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now if you want to make a change you can either hit your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the right or use your encoder. So I want to go ahead and make a change to valve number 1. Now in valve number one, I want it to be set to 80% flow. So I'm going to go ahead and use my encoder to select my negative and positive flow. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to 80%. My positive flow, I want to be at 80%. And you can have these at different flows. So if you had an, an up or a down on an implement that you wanted faster than, than the other, you could have these set to two different flow rates. Now for this, I want to have a kick out time of 10 seconds. Say it was a disc, it's going to take me 10 seconds to raise and lower the disc. So I want to go ahead and hit my kick out time at 10 seconds. Okay, once I've got that selected, use your check and select in. Now you can see that I have it for 10 seconds. Now say that this, this hydraulic was going to be running a say a hydraulic motor. At this point I would want it to be in continuous flow. To do that you're going to go ahead and hit this icon right here. That is going to be your infinity sign which will mean continuous. Now at this point when you kick this hydraulic in it's going to run continuous flow at 80 percent. Once you've set this hydraulic you can go ahead and hit escape. Now you can see my changes are here. So I got valve one 80 percent and then there's that continuous flow. You got the two arrows. That is how you set a hydraulic. I'm going to go ahead and escape to get out of here. And now you can see there are my hydraulics at the top. 